Get them while you can. Soon those famous brass rail cheese sticks will be a thing of the past. The iconic restaurant is closing in June. Tonight's History's Headlines has the story behind the nearly century-old institution. Lunch doesn't have quite the same ring as the brass rail, but that's what a young Phil Sorrentino decided to call his first foray into the food biz. Mr. Sorrentino was a native of Italy who came to this country with his parents. That was back in 1917. He later found work in a factory, but was laid off as the Great Depression took hold. In 1931, Phil used $80 he had saved to open Phil's Lunch, a hamburger and hot dog stand in Allentown. Just two years later, he needed a bigger space, so he moved into 1137 Hamilton Street. A friend suggested he class up the name. The brass rails were quite common in bar rooms at the time. 1937 was another big year for the newly named restaurant. That was when the brass rail cheesesteak made its first appearance on the menu. They took off with it and made it their trademark item. By 1946, the brass rail was selling an average of 500 steak sandwiches a day. Fifteen years later, Phil opened his second brass Rail restaurant, this one on Lehigh Street. The Hamilton Street location closed in 2001. And sadly, the Lehigh Street spot will follow this June. The customers here and the employees are like my family, our family. And, um, that, that really made the decision very difficult. Third generation owner Mark Sorrentino and his sister Pam Ray had hoped to reopen the brass rail in a new spot in Allentown, but so far those those plans have not panned out. For now, they are planning on having their usual stand at the Allentown Fair, the place where their careers in the restaurant business began many years ago. Our job was to peel all the onions for the steak sandwiches behind the stand, and then we talk about like bags and bags and bags of onions. So perhaps the 2022 fair will be the last time you'll be able to bite into a Phil's original. Better get it while it's hot.